I love these cold, clear days. Yes, they are nice to look at. Not nice if you have to stand out in it for no. a long period of time. Stroller Winery right now, 39 degrees. Look at that. Starting to get dark, of course. But you know what's great about hitting winter solstice is now the days actually just get a little bit longer. Every single day, a little bit more daylight appears. So that's good news. Current temperature is at the coast in the mid 40s. We're in the low 40s right now in the valley. The Dow's 37, 28, Madras Bend, you're at 23, Pendleton 30 degrees. Look at that. Current conditions here, downtown Portland 41, wind is out of the southeast right now at 8 miles per hour. We're nice and clear and yes, very cold. By 10 o'clock, we will be down to freezing. Portions of the valley may run into some low visibility as our temperature drops and meets the dew point, especially those areas lacking any wind to mix things out. So not so much for Portland or Vancouver, but areas south especially. Let's talk about your, what's on your water vapor imagery. You can see very clearly where our dry slot is right here along the coast. This big ridge of high pressure is in place. We have our next area of low pressure sitting offshore. That next cold front will show up for us as we get to tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. Big transitions happening for us at that time. So a winter storm watch will be in effect for the Cascades, Oregon and Washington. Close to a foot of snow expected. Uh, what's more significant perhaps though will be the wind showing up with the snow. Gusts up to 45 miles per hour possible for you over those mountain passes. So be prepared for some winter type wild driving. Let's go into the next 24 hours. We expect to have clear skies for the most part through tomorrow with the exception of some areas of fog developing. Then we get to late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. Here's the rain showing up. We expect it to just be rain here in the valley, uh, but the big question mark will be right over the gorge, especially between the Dalles and Hood River. We saw this just a few days ago where we actually had accumulating snow on the freeway. So we could see that momentarily early Wednesday morning and then temperatures will rise pretty quickly as we get to Wednesday afternoon. More of that rain, more snow above our mountain passes falling through Wednesday night and into Thursday. Thursday, the wet weather continues even through Friday again with only tiny breaks in between. This is Friday afternoon, more rain, southwesterly flow in place, more snow for you as well, right around 5,000 feet. We get to Saturday, stronger flow coming in from the south expected. More mountain snow, snow levels higher though by the time we get to this weekend. So what does that mean for rain? We just got done dealing with a bunch of rain. We're going to see a whole lot more starting Wednesday going through this weekend. So potentially how much rain could we see? Anywhere from one to two and a half inches possible for us as we roll into this Sunday. Now we're talking about several days in a row of rain accumulation. The Dow's up to about an inch of rain possible for you as soon as we start to warm up a little bit more there. Uh, anywhere from three and a half to almost five inches possible for you at the coast. What does that mean for Pendleton? Pendleton, you're looking at a little bit more than a half inch, but again, remembering snow levels initially there starting off right around 3,000 feet and then rising up to about 5,000 feet. There's your seven day forecast. So for New Year's Eve, expecting it to be mostly showery weather through Friday, the first day of the new year, all the way into the first weekend of the new year. All right, Natasha, thank you. Uh